Hey everybody, welcome to Wheatland Union High School's tutorial on do's and don'ts for using Zoom. Um, so we're just going to go through some quick expectations and norms that we have for using Zoom in your uh, online classrooms. First thing is do please be on time. When people are coming in and out of the meeting room, um, it it's distracting for those that are watching and paying attention. So try to be on time. We understand sometimes it's hard to get in to a meeting. Maybe you have a bad connection, but do your best to be on time. Uh, do use your mute button correctly. Now, when you come into a room, it's a good idea to make sure that you're muted if the teacher hasn't muted you already. Um, if you have a lot of background noise going on, it becomes distracting and it's hard for other people to understand the speaker. So if you're not speaking, use that mute button, but be sure that if you have raised your hand or you're participating in the conversation, that you've taken that mute button off so that people can hear you. Do use the raise your hand and the chat features. Don't just jump in, make sure that uh, you click the raise your hand button or you can even hold your hand in front of your camera to let your teacher know you're raising your hand. Um, and then also if you have a question that you wanna ask, you can always use the chat feature in Zoom also. Uh, keep in mind that if you don't happen to have a microphone on your computer, uh, or a webcam, you can use that chat feature to correspond with your, your teacher instead. Don't behave in disruptive manners, just like you would behave in a classroom. If you're doing things that disrupt and distract other people, it takes away from the experience for everybody else in the room, whether it be an actual classroom or a virtual classroom. Do Pay attention to how your camera is positioned. Be aware of your background and your lighting. Um, just take a minute to make sure that that looks okay. Don't look like a creeper. Do feel free, feel free to take notes or to even have a snack um, while, you're, while you're watching your class. But at the same time, be aware of your actions on camera. People can see you chewing. People can see uh, what you're doing. Um, they can see if you're on your phone. They can see if you're uh, doing something. They can also see if other people enter the room and something's going on behind you. So be aware of those things. You might want to warn people in your home that you're going to be on a video conference so that they don't accidentally burst in and end up in the shot or disrupt you. Um, so be sure to let other people know. And along with that, um, if you have younger siblings at home, consider making sure that they are uh, dressed appropriately. Um, just in case they happen to pop into the camera viewing area also. Don't walk around a whole bunch and cause excess motion on your screen as that can be really distracting to other people. Um, if you need to get up and move around, you can turn the video feature off just like you can turn your audio off where you can still hear what's going on. But if you have to get up and move around the uh, move around your location, um, it's okay to turn that video off for a little bit. Do dress appropriately. Um, this is still school, and we want you to actually take this opportunity to use this uh, practice as, uh, as a practice for a professional skill. Um, you have an opportunity here to learn uh, to communicate online in conference rooms the same way that business people do every day, and sometimes even uh, conduct interviews to get a job. So this is your opportunity to practice the skill of being appropriate and professional online. Keep in mind, if there are disruptive behaviors going on or things are distracting, students will be removed from a meeting and will not be able to get back in. Um, if the teacher is recording and can post the class later for you to watch, that's great. But don't count on the fact that the teacher may not be may be recording. Don't assume that they are, um, and that you'll be able to watch it later. Most uh, Zoom classes will be recorded and available for people to watch later on. 
So keep in mind that whatever you're doing on screen is ending up in video shots that could be reviewed over and over again. We know that all of this classroom, virtual classroom is a huge change and there's a lot of adjustments, but we really encourage you to hang in there. We're learning and we're here to help you through as we're all uh, navigating our way through these crazy waters. We do want to make this the best experience that we can for you and possibly um, give you some experience to succeed in online courses uh, in your future. So please make sure that uh, you're abiding by these norms for our Zoom classrooms. And um, just remember, uh, Zoom's always better when you're there. Bye.